you made headlines when you talked about squashing your beef and being on set with Leslie um, during Coming to America, with um, Leslie Jones um, during Coming to America. Um, I don't think you explained how that beef was squashed, and maybe that's not for us to know, but I, I was interested when I seen that. I never saw, like, how it was ended. How did you guys come to terms? Because that's important to tell people that are have to work with people that there's some kind of elephant in the room, there's some kind of tension. Well, I often wonder, does anybody ask Leslie about this question? I would ask her. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> um, actually, um, I was quite content with me and Leslie's beef. I was fine with it. Okay. Okay. But also, knowing that we had to work together in a film that's going to be epic, I came to the set with the mindset that I'm going to put everything aside. I'm going to speak. We're going to make history. This is going to be amazing. And I came to the set with that attitude. And I came and I spoke. And I was shut down by Ms. Jones. Uh -huh. Production, without naming names, asked me to please have a conversation with her because we were to play sister, but she wouldn't look at me, right. wouldn't talk to me, would, would blow me off. And by the way, it's not like I did something ratchet and fucked up to Leslie, but in her mind, what had happened back when we were, me, Melanie Camacho, Red Grant were on tour with Cat Williams, and Leslie had been asked by Cat to do some <laughs> spot dates. We were the tour, she was doing a show over here, a little bit of time over there, like that. And I'm, I'm sure she desperately wanted to be in the tour, but she was not. Okay. And she desperately wanted to be treated as she was in the tour, but she was not. Mm -hmm. but, but Melanie and I did try to do things to sort of soften up her, her demeanor, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And we thought that we had uh, a good thing going on, but she felt you know, disrespected in some way, and she felt um, not loved in some way, you know? Right. And, um, you know, part of that was correct. So when we got a chance to be by ourselves after I, I like, it was a nightmare <laughs> situation. Okay. But I had to leave, and I came back to work. When I came back to work, her personality demeanor had changed. Okay. And I let her know that it had been a pleasure working with her that day. I wish it could be like that all the time. And then we went in a corner and then we had a conversation. Okay. So I'm not saying that Leslie and me are going to spoon and watch the movie together. Right. But I think that we have the opportunity to show that if you are professional, you can talk about shit. You can put shit aside for the greater good of the project and work together. And I'd be glad to work with her. Well, <laughs> I will be willing to work with her again in the future. <laughs> Let me ask you that. I'm moving on from that topic. Let me ask you this. Is there anyone else in this industry that you would like to have that moment where you can, guys, can at least come to a, an agreement? Like, a, you know, not like we're BFFs, but like, I want to end whatever this tension is. Let's just bury the hatchet and just move forward without it being tense when we're around each other. Is there anybody else in the industry that you would like to have that moment with? No. Okay, that's fair. <laughs>